I took the XO49 Emancipator Exosuit out for a test drive, and after a couple of rounds against the bots and the bugs, I have my opinion. I also put out a poll on the community tab to see which Exosuit other Helldivers were enjoying more, and it appears to be pretty close. I would love to hear more of your opinions on these Exosuits in the comments. The XO49 Emancipator is equipped with two dual auto cannons and provides a decent amount of defense. It is able to withstand small arms fire and the slashes from the smallest bugs without worry. You don't even have to shoot the weakest of bugs, you can just walk on top of them and switch them between your mech feet. If the enemies are a bit stronger, you can melee stomp them. These alternatives using ammo are helpful because ammo management is big when using these exosuits. If you see a container and don't have a squad mate nearby, don't shoot it open, just stomp on it. Your ammo is limited and you do not want to run out too soon. Exosuits have the longest cooldown in the game and with only two call-ins, extremely limited use, so you will feel that wait time if you lose that mech early after call-in, so do what you can to make that exosuit last. Other than the long cooldown time, the XO49 also has an accuracy issue, especially with its left gun, and an added hard time aiming downhill. You really have to compensate and aim further down than normal to connect if the enemy is lower than you. I felt this accuracy issue more so with the bots than the bugs. Against the bugs, this exosuit really shines as a nest killer. Run into a bug's nest and start closing holes and stomp those bugs dead. You can shoot down spore spewers and shrieker's nests from a distance, great for blitz or hatchery missions. When it comes to the elite bugs, charges are pretty easy to take down. You just sidestep their charge and shoot them in the butt or the side and let them bleed out. When it comes to the bile titans, that's when I prefer to get out and hit them with an orbital rail strike and or eats. Save the exosuit ammo. Against the bots, this is a little more of a struggle. You may want to equip a shield generator backpack until you are used to finding them in the exosuit. The shield will clip out and still protect you. The XO49 can blow up fabricators from a distance and does well to storm a stratagem jammer or detector tower. I also had a really fun time using it on an eradicate mission. It can take down elite bots with ease if you cast them in the right angle. Otherwise, you'll be using a lot of ammo if you try to take them head on. There are just better stratagems to deal with elite bots, while the Emancipator is better for robot mobs and bases. The XO49 Emancipator has earned a place in my loadout against the bugs for sure, while against the bots, it's a little more situational. I can say I prefer the XO49 Emancipator over the XO45 Patriot for most cases. It has its flaws for sure, but it is useful and worth trying.